up guys, Heeking here bringing you this week's manga reviews for and reactions to My Hero Academia, Boku no Hero. Yeah. Sorry about this, I mean the cough sweet because I've got a sore throat. So yeah, I've been I've been sick for like nearly two weeks now, I think. So that's why I didn't do a review last week and I didn't get an early review in for this. So here it is. Got a week off, so just stay home and relax basically until I get better. Seriously, this cold is not going away. Like, what's the point of getting flu shots if you're just gonna keep getting sick, right? Like, whatever, man. Whatever, yeah, this is gonna be annoying, I know, but uh, I'm gonna try not and I'm gonna try not to cherish its sweet cherryness. And yeah, before I get started, of course, guys, uh, remember to like and subscribe. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a double review. So I'm going to be doing chapters 357 and 358. So yeah, Duh, what's it saying? Uh, double tap? Double barrel? <laughs> I don't know. We'll go for it then. So if I remember correctly, we left off with uh, 0 for 1 getting his mask, his mask blown off, right? So that they landed a hit, it worked, end of arm, got injured, he lost an arm. And he regenerated it, or at least he regenerated a flaming one that he used to punch the crab out of all for one. So now he's coming in. Endivar continues the assault. So yeah, he's he's going into all for one, just slabbing him with the flames. He's burning, he's trying to burn all for one into a crisp. Yeah, it was too close. Close, huh? I predicted this would happen. And the chapter is called The Real Thing, A Wounded Hero. I predicted this would happen, but I never thought you would be the one to make me relive the humiliation of that day. So, all for one is getting flashbacks to his fight with uh, All Might on that day when he hurt him the most. And now, and now, another another number one hero has come in and is pretty much doing the same thing. So, you know, for Endeavor to always say he's not up there or in that same, uh, what, what do you call it, the same level as All Might. The fact that All for One is sitting here, standing there, floating, and saying this reminds me of that day. That uh, that sort of clinches it for uh, closes off for Endeavor being like up on that level now. Like he's reached that he's reached that point now, one could say. So Endeavor, man, seriously, you can see his arm just like it's crazy. Like there, there's no arm there, but like he's just he's just like he's just got like flames coming out of that freaking cut off joint. Nothing's more dangerous than a wounded hero. <laughs> that reminds me of a quote like. Uh, What's that quote? What's that quote? From Metal Gear Solid. Uh, uh, come on, come on, let me think. It's Grey Fox. So he's like, a wounded jackal is more... No, no, is it? A fox is more dangerous than a wounded jackal, is it? Than a cornet jackal. Sorry, cornet. Wow, I suck. I'm a fan. I forget that quote. Damn. Damn, I'm a disgrace. Forgive, 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 forgive me. Forgive me, Grey Fox. I, I screwed up your quote. Forgive me. <laughs> um... Yeah, this paddle with uh with end of our man that is so sick, and I think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna make that the uh, thumbnail, or one of the thumbnails. Um, uh, that's a that's a that's seriously that's a really good paddle, like goddamn, goddamn Horogoshi man, like oh he does such a good job sometimes, like so he goes in and it's face to face, oh for one end of our face to face. And he's trying to slam, he's trying to go for a punch, and, and, and over was just like, huh? Like, what's going on? Like, how? It's almost like, it's almost like he's not realizing how fast uh, Endeavor is going to him. And then we realize that there's feathers, there's feathers in the fire prevailing Endeavor forward thanks to Hawks. And I was just like, too slow. And he slams into him. You get, you can see like the outline of the fist. He slams into all for one. He hits him, he hits him with it, jet bird, and he slams all for one all the way into the ground, vanishing jet bird, that's what it's called, vanishing jet bird, Jesus. And then you've got the other heroes that are fighting on the ground, you know, like, feeling that pressure, seeing that explosion coming down, and, and like, wow, what's the deal with this heat, end of all, was he supposed to deal with all for one in the sky? And then you've got Hawks, they're going, why didn't you finish him off with your prominence? Like, he turns to all for, you know, to end of all, he's like, are you blind or something? That bastard had his guard up. <laughs> that's a miracle, isn't it? And then, yeah, okay, but coming back to Endeavor and Hawks, it's like it's not like I can use Providence Burn as many times as I want. I need to break through his defenses with physical attacks first to ensure it connects. And then Hawks is like, good to know you're keeping a cool head. A cool head, my blood is boiling. And Endeavor, he goes down, like he does like a freaking sonic boom sort of uh, 
uh, f flying technique, if you will, like, you know, like, kind of Superman when he, when he breaks the sound of barrier, right? It's like breaking the sound of flames, and he's just, like, he's propelling himself all the way down towards over one, and then you've got, like, the hero, yeah, you've got all over one, they're just, like, on the ground looking up, like, looking up, he doesn't even have eyes, and then you've got, what's his name, uh, Cubby Woods, or, well, the wood hero, and he's, like, over one. Like, he sees him on the ground there, and he sees the flames, it's like, everyone, everyone get back! And he's like, one of the heroes are like, why? We can end this, like, and you got the wood hero, Kami Wood, is that what his name is, Kami Wood? He's using these uh, abilities to grab the heroes near that area, and he's pulling them back, like, he's, he's running away while pulling them with him. And an awful one just comes slamming down, and it's like a big, massive nuke going off, man. And, yeah, like, like, and, yeah, you've got, all, you've got Endovar there with his hand, with his normal hand, just like, Trying to like burn, punch through, like I don't know, grip, grip all for one. Whatever, whatever's going on, all for one is just like, 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 he's, like he's, like you can, you can tell he's terrified from his expression. He's putting his guard up, and he's, and he's just like, like, ah, oh. think of beauty. And you got coming was going, why? Because Endavar, and Endavar manages to, he grabs, he grabs all for one, and you got him still screaming in the background. Endavar is coming through. So yeah, it's like he's the only hero who realized, yeah, shit's about to go, like. Kaburi, so like he backed, he backed away, he got everyone out of the way, and then end of our oh my god, he grabs all for one, and he drags him by right, propelling himself forward through the freaking uh woods, forest, whatever, like, and it's just flames grazing through, like Jesus. He's just dragging him on the ground. And all for ones like to think that swarm of pesky flies managed to break my mask. My buddy won't listen to me. If I could just grab him and and all for one, you know, all for one's trying to grab him, and Endovar, holy god, Endovar turns towards him as all for one's trying to grab him, and he shoots fire beams out of his eyes. He shoots fire beams out of his eyes. What the hell? And he burns, he burns all for one's hand. It's like the only thing that hand has ever done is destroy people's life. And Endovar, you know, all for one's like, you've destroyed lives too. And then I was like, I know I have. And, and like, yeah, he's remembering all of this. He's remembering all of this, like, Toya is but the product of my errors. The lives he's stolen, they're on me too. The past is Im immutable. My wrath, my resentment, and even my retribution woven together, they form the fra fabric of the future. And Endeavor's getting the sort of vision of all the older heroes, if you will. Older heroes. He's seen a vision, or what he hopes to see is is like a future look of all the of all the kids grown up now, I think. And it's like, what is the future? It's a path for the youth to fret on. It's the endless possibilities. Like Shota there, like I don't know, I don't know, he's getting like he's like seen visions of Shota like teaching kids I think flames. It's why I must prevail. So that the sins of us adults sins of us don't become an insurmountable obstacle in the way of their youth. And we see this vision of him, you see end of I have this vision of all the kids growing up, I think. Like, you know, there's Deku, there's Bakugo, there's Eda in the back, you know, like like they're all walking forward and Deku and Bakugo are the only two that sort of like turn maybe to look at uh, you know, Shoto who's from the back. But clearly it looks like they're older, like like they're meant to be older here. And Endeavor's just like, I will be what I will be the one to bear that punishment. I'll be the one to end this so that I can keep looking over Toyo. And you know, L for one is just screaming, no, I'll keep on. And then boom, I'll keep on hating myself. And End of World just blitzes. Like, he just, yeah, he just goes on full-on fire mode. Like, pure fire mode. Like, burning for all for one. This is such a this is such a good character development for him as well. Like you know, a lot of people don't like Endeavor because he you know when we saw him the first time, he came across as a very very abusive character. He is he is a very abusive character. You cannot you cannot forget what he's done. And Endeavor himself acknowledges that. He acknowledges that he's he's done very you know very messed up crap. He's hurt his family. He's hurt his kids. He's hurt other people. He he realizes that. He's acknowledging that, and he wants to change for the better. And for someone like that to acknowledge that attitude, that mentality, and say they want to change for the better, we can see here he is changing. He is changing. He is trying to better himself. But at the same time, he's pushing himself into this sort of punishment. You know, he's bearing him through all the pain. And he's bringing it all onto himself. Like, this is like, and, and rightfully so, he does admit, this is, this is my, these are my errors. And for us, this is my punishment that I must bear myself. And he's right. He's completely right about that. So... You know, for everyone to continue hating on him, I think it's a bit unfair now. Like you, 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 you can't you can't forgive him for what he's done, but you can acknowledge that he is changing, and you can acknowledge that he is becoming a better human being.
I mean, the past can never go away, but it can improve. And I like that development of Endeavor that he's getting there because in, in reality, a lot of people don't do that. You know, you, a lot of people who are very abusive don't change or don't acknowledge it. They think they're always right, but Endeavor here, he's acknowledging that. And the fact that he's saying that he hates himself for it as well, that like he's done all of this and he hates himself now, like, that's big. That's a big step for him to admit. And just for that, like, i got to respect his character. Like, you know, Hirogoshi's done a very good job developing this character that we hated at first. And now it's getting to a point where we're like, I like you, dude. I like you and I hope I hope you don't die. If he dies, he dies. You know what I mean? It's, I think, oh, think it'll be a nice sort of redemption for him. But if he lives, I, I hope that things do end up well for him. Do you know what I mean? Like, he deserves, he deserves that second chance. A lot of people don't get that, and I feel like he deserves that. Like, he's gone to that point where he deserves that second chance now. But yeah, we're getting to this point in the chapter, and he's basically grabbed hold of All For One, and he's burning him. He's basically using his entire might to burn through All For One, and All For One is turning into ash. We see it. He's killed him. He's killed All For One at this point. He's turned him into ash. We've already confirmed that he doesn't have any kind of super regeneration. And Endeavor, he looks exhausted, like, he, he, it's like he's used all of his energy to do this. But even if he secretly did, there's no surviving that without a body like Shigaraki's. He's dead. So yeah, it looks like Endeavor's won the fight. He's killed all for one. Why has he? Yeah, so before I continue again, like and subscribe, please. So yeah, we're moving towards the end of this chapter. All for one is, has, has just succeeded in burning... You know, sorry, Endeavor has succeeded in burning All for One to death. But Hawks screams out, and he's like, get away, Endeavor. And All for One starts speaking. He's like, did you really believe that Endeavor, just like his eyes opening up, like what, like, in, in shock, that I would step onto the stage without some aces up my sleeve? You should know by now that this body is well past its expir expiration date. I have no news for it anymore. That's why there's a little something I'd like to try. And as All For One says this, we get a flash of Eri. Is it Eri? And you know, as you know, she has the ability to take away people's quirks and give it back. And we see like the bullets. We see the bullets that were developed. We get a flash of the bullets. And as we get the flash of the words, we cut to the next panel, and then we see All For One. And he's got a smile, he's ashen, his entire face is ashen. He's got a smile, but suddenly an eye pops open. He's got an eye popping up. This dude didn't have eyes before, but now he's got an eye popping up, and he's got in an ear. Villains are also most dangerous when wounded. What made you think heroes were the only ones prepared to risk their lives? All for one is regenerating. Whatever's happened here, it, 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 it seems that he's probably used a reverse version of the bullet quirk, of Henry's quirk, to not take away a quirk but to give it back, or in this case, regenerate himself. So in other words, it looks like all for one is coming back to the way he was before. A lot of people were like, you know, like, when we're doing the Dobby and uh, Shoto fight, oh, Dobby's gonna, like, awaken Phoenix mode or something, and he's gonna regenerate himself. That didn't happen. Instead, it's happening with Over One. He's regenerating himself. Whatever's going on, he's using the, the uh, bullet quirks, whatever, it seems, to regenerate his lost body, because he's got an ear and eye popping out now, and that means, that means, yeah, he, he's coming back. He's coming back. Does that mean he's gonna come back at full strength? I don't know, but, uh, this is very bad. This is very bad. We're cutting to... We then cut to a panel of Deku, and we see we see the first all for, uh, you know uh, one for all user, he, you know all for one's brother, and and the spirit is is um, is behind Deku, and Deku is still flying, floating, racing through the ocean above, and he's like Mi Midori uh, Mi Midoriya kun, and he's like w well, first, what's going on? I have a bad feeling about this, and it's it, this is either Deku or the first having that feeling, and it's like yeah yeah, there's a very bad feeling, and Deku's just zooming through. And he sees something ahead. I don't know what it is, or if he and maybe it's he's feeling something, but he's like, that's a mysterious threat draws near. So it looks like something is actually heading towards Deku, it appears. Who I don't know. I don't know who could be flying in this period that would be able to get there to attack him. But it looks like as Deku is racing through the ocean, there appears to be something coming towards him. 
in the distance we can't make it out what it is it looks like it's a bunch of dots it looks like several dots in fact one you know, let me see let me wipe that away it looks like there's five five dots there now that could be nothing it could just be him sensing something but like the fact that you've got the tagline a mysterious threat draws near it makes it sound like there's something coming towards deku from the from, you know in, in the ocean so it looks like we're going to get some sort of a air air fight chase sequence maybe with deku and that's where the chapter ends chapter ends with freaking all for one regenerate himself using Henry's quirk somehow which is which is terrifying which is highly terrifying no one expected this I didn't expect this uh, yeah like I honestly thought he would die and his mind would go into Shigaraki that's what I thought was gonna happen but no this this fight's not over this fight it looks like this fight is just getting sorry it looks like this fight is just getting started so yeah crazy shit crazy shit's happening Anyway, that's the review for that and reaction to that chapter. And we're moving on to the next one, 358. We'll stop here and we're going to continue on. Yep. All right, guys. 358 chapter of Boku no Hero. Like and subscribe, please. I know I keep repeating myself, but it's nice to. I like to hear myself talk. I really don't, actually. Uh, uh, so, yeah, this chapter is called A Small Step for a Man. Okay. Uh, so we're cutting back to the uh, Bakugo Shigaraki fight. Basically, we're back at uh, or you know, uh, Hero Acad Academia. It's floating in the sky. Who will crap clash next in this grueling battle? So before I continue, by the way, I want to point out that apparently the editor that we've had since the end of the war arc to to I imagine currently now of these chapters maybe or early parts of this arc has left. I don't know if he was fired. It, 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 it sounds like he was he, he might have been put on another project or it sounds like they got rid of him when they fired him I don't know I don't know what the facts are but a lot of people were complaining at the time that ever since the editor came in that the manga has sort of been felt or has felt very rushed and it hasn't been very good uh, personally I don't mind the story that we've gotten but yeah there are there are points where it's like yo this is going a bit too quick like take your time you know and it seems they've gotten a different editor now, so maybe maybe things will slow down a bit now, and you know this final arc will end up feeling a bit more smoother, if you will. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does, because so far I've liked what I've read. Definitely, I think I think I think this arc has started off very good, but uh, definitely we could have had we could have maybe used some small some small fact, maybe a chapter or two just to sort of develop the entire traitor background and maybe a chapter or two with the villains instead of having that one chapter I think that we had with them or did we have several chapters with the villains I don't remember we had we had some of the heroes in we had and we had some of the villains in we so I don't know but um <laughs> finally melted all the way down sorry about that again it's hot throat hurts seriously like try 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 having this for like two weeks man it's bad anyway yeah, hopefully this this arc itself will end up being better now. You know what I mean, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But yeah, we're coming to the uh, Shigaraki fight, and we see Shigaraki like he's just gone full on mutant hand, like that hand, whatever he's done, that multiple hand Akira crap. Which, well, funny enough, I need to watch Akira. I've had that, I've had that Blu-ray for like two years now. I still haven't watched it. Every time I'm like, I'm gonna watch it when I'm off, when I, when I have a week off. I got a week off now. I should watch it, but. Yeah, this this is some next Akira stuff, man. Like, uh, it, it's freaky. It's it's absolutely freaky. And it makes me wonder how the hell they're gonna animate this when they get to it. But yeah, you got Shigaraki just sort of sliding on his hands, but it's so weird how it works as well. Like, like he's got one hand there, and then he's got like this thing just sort of like pouring out, and then it's going underneath his hand, and then it's it's got like a freaking snake. It's just like traveling all the way through the uh, the, the arena, breaking through buildings and and signposts and stuff. Like, like what the hell is going on? Like, it's a cool image, by the way. It's a very cool image. But Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's uh, that's freaky. And then we've got... Uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it a sun ear? Like, he's about to get overwhelmed. And I don't know if he's dodging or he got saved. God knows. And then we've got... Uh, what's her name? Uh, one of the big three. The female one. Sun ear. Like, I wouldn't have even known that's his name unless I'd read that beforehand. But yeah, sun ear. And then what's her name? And she's using her abilities. I don't know what. See, I gotta give props to the uh, uh, anime for 
for at least telling us every few uh, minutes, like, who, who's got what quirk, because I have no idea what quirk she has. Um, in Inchi Blast or something, and she's trying to force the, 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 the deformed snake hands back. She's giving a sort of pouty look, like, like, like she's, like, very annoyed at this point. And, uh, who, I don't, I can't see who's dodging, like, she dodges the attack, I think, like, something, I think something comes down or something, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, all I know is we, we cut to Best Genus, and Best Genus is sliding on threads, okay, he's sliding through threads, like, this is Best Genus, man, sliding on freaking threads, this dude's awesome, like, if you thought his power was lame, like, it really isn't, like, like, this dude's being a badass right now, he's like, don't, and he's like, don't stop, keep moving, and yeah, keep moving, because Jesus, and, Oh my god, there's too much, there's so much going on, it's crazy. These things will swallow you whole in a second. And we get this panel of best genius jumping from the thread, right, dodging, dodging like uh, the, the finger arms or whatever, while using his ability to grab Bokugo and pulling away from an attack, while at the same time, you've got Mirko just running on these hands, sorry, as fast as she can. And, like, it, it's, it's insane. This panel is insane. And, I, and I'm trying to think, like, how, how, how is the anime going to, like, seriously, if, if they try and adapt this, like, it, it's going to be insane. Like, I imagine this would be multiple shots. But imagine, imagine if they actually had animated this specific shot. Like, this is just one shot. And in one shot, you've just got all of this crazy stuff happening. Like, it, it, here in, one, in, in this corner, you've got him, like, Blue Jean is dodging, grabbing Bakugobi's friends, pulling him away while Merkel's just running, like, up while their hands all swarming and moving. Like, it's, it's, it's a crazy freaking panel. Like, you could feel the motion of what's going on. And it's freaking awesome. Oh, God. And... And what is going on here? I think I think it's Blue Genius sort of wrapping his friends around this arm. I don't know what I don't know what he's trying to do. And he's like, keep dodging through. We need to reach the main body. So they're trying to get to the main body and they're trying to get through these arms. And it's like it's like a freaking maze at this point because like they're freaking everywhere. Uh, these freakish hands are no joke. But at least he can't use his own mind esque physical prowess at the same time. I, I don't get what's happening. Uh, I think this is another hero, sorry. This is another hero. It's a... Uh, it, I, I don't know who this hero is. Like, he's got, like... How can I describe it? He's the one doing the threads. He's the one, like... I don't know, like, he's zigzagging through. He's got, like, that a very bendy sort of shape hairstyle. I don't know his name, but he's using an ability called Shattering Paper Thread. So maybe his ability is paper. And I think he manages to cut through. Like, he's, he's created this zigzagging thing around one of these arms. And I think he goes through it and he pulls it. You know, sort of how when you pull something and it just slices through, and he does that, and it slices through the arms. Like it's he's cutting it away. The it, it, pieces are just flying, but then it regenerates and more pop out like a freaking hydra, if you will. And he's like, how could how could yeah? Camera shutting down now. Bad camera. Bad camera. I need to get a new one. How could this not be a quirk? You said this was just natural growth, but that's impossible. And Shigaraki, like the heroes are talking to Shigaraki, and he's just like, believe it or not. That's how it is, uh, Kamihara Shinya. So that's his name, Kam Kamihara Shinya. So Shinya is the one who did all the who did the blitzing and slicing through the through the arms. Uh, as the all for one quirk said it was in various external factors and and the swarm of quirks have become combined, molding this body into suitable accommodation. With this body and its power, I shall create a new world. I'll become God and rule above everyone else. A world so divided that standards cease to exist for human bodies and abilities is doomed to collapse and disappear. Uh, it's talking crazy now at this point. Uh, the growing gaps between people give rise to misunderstandings. And Bakugo is dodging these attacks and he's listening and he's got that look of utter, I'm very pissed off right now, look like, freaking great. Said misunderstandings in turn give rise to fear and rejection. And Shigaraki's just smiling as he's saying this. Like, he's got this very sort of like... He's got that look that one would give you when, when you know they think they're God, basically. Like, like, like nothing, like he cares about nothing in the world now. He's just like, he feels like he's absolutely one at this point. Like he's got that look, basically. The look of like, yeah, you can't do anything. Uh, our confrontation is but a product of that world. At least under my control, everyone will be equal in oppression. Isn't that a step towards the peace you heroes want? And and Bakugo, yeah, he's not taking that crap. Like, he, he, he's running on those legs. He's running on those arms. And he's like, I don't know if you're if you're all for one or Shigaraki right now. Given how much I've been moving around, it must be charged up with this item from the support unit from the support code. So Bakugo's got a secret technique he's about to unleash. I don't want to hear one more word from either of you. I've had enough of you two ever since Kamino. And we see these guns. It looks like cannons or guns pop out from behind Bakugo's armor. And we get this sweet panel. He's got like six guns. 
six like I don't know what it is. It's it's definitely got bullets in it or whatever, but six guns, like shoulder guns popping out. And it's so freaking awesome. He's like a freaking walking battle tank at this point. Area suppressing heavy armor activated. Stroffing Panzer. I think Panzer means tank in German. Uh, pretty sure it, it, Panzer is, is is tank for for, for uh, German. I will clear a path. And Bakugo goes nuts. Like he's shooting these things, and they go in different directions. Like like they were on the shoulders, and now they're sort of like I don't know, like on his back, and like oh man, it's like it's like having six Spider-Man arms basically. Except the freaking cannons blasting away at things, and they're blasting away at all the freaking arms, and then he's like, we'll crush the main body. Like oh my god, and you got Merkel blitzing his like together. Yeah, Bakugo's finally doing teamwork, and you got Merkel just like, he's finally learned the art of teamwork. So yeah, finally, Bakugo's development going to step up as well now. Like, he's learned the meaning of teamwork. Well done, Bakugo, well done. And then we're, we're cutting to the various other heroes who are all playing their part in this fight right now. We're seeing, uh, we're seeing uh, Aoizawa with, uh, what's his name, uh, 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 Monoma and uh, Aoizawa Sensei are using a, 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 ra a ratio shoot to silence Shigaraki's quirks, yep. And then we're cutting to Kaminara, uh, Kaminari Kaminari and the others are giving the all to power up this flying platform, yep. Uh, and then there's a Yayorozu Yayo and the rest of the crew making sure we're standing on firm ground all so that we can, yeah. Said and yeah, so we can. I don't know if this is Bakugo feeling. I think it's Mirko. I think it's Mirko saying this. And then we're coming to Bakugo, and he's having these flashbacks. He's having that flashback to that moment when Deku came in, quirkless, trying to save his life from that slime dude. Said misunderstandings in turn give rise to fear and rejection. It's Bakugo's turn to acknowledge his mistakes. Like, you're gonna tell me about misunderstandings, fear, and rejection. I accepted all that long ago. And yeah, he's just blitzing through, and then you've got a blue genius just watching him. Block ago, but I didn't just accept it. I'm way over it. Like, oh man, ah. Oh. And we're getting these flashes of all the heroes together in the rain. I found people who were willing to put all that aside and move forward no matter what it may take. And Baku is just screaming, that's why I don't give a damn about anything you have to say, you sack of deformed fingers. Yeah, pretty good. Her and then Blue Genus. The Blue Genus acknowledging Bakugo and actually calling out his hero name. Jesus, come on. You gotta shorten that shit, but... Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite. Like, he's finally calling him by that name. That's crazy. And I've developed a brand new ability called Cl Cluster Bob. Testing it on a uh, Mr. Uh, all, uh, all f uh, one for All here should be a good indicator on whether it'll be effective against Shigaraki... Well, all for one. So yeah, there's a little flashback I think to Bakugo training, and now we're seeing Bakugo's ultimate move, uh, how how it's an impact cluster bomb. And I don't know what's going on. He's got he's got one arm there shooting off in the distance, and I can't see the other arm. But like, it, I don't know. It's like a whirlpool of just explosive fire bursting forth from around and towards him. Like it's nuts. It, I don't know what's going on. It's just nuts. And, and and there's Shigaraki at the bottom and he's going for him, he's blasting him with these bolts and ultimate move, that's what we get, ultimate move. So so Bakugo just went for his ultimate move and, oh man, what a great, seriously, what a great freaking chapter this was. Like, Bakugo's, we had, we had, we had end of us growth and now we had Bakugo's growth. Uh, it's just like, it's all, it's all coming together nicely and the fact that they don't have to waste so many chapters just building up to it, like, like here it is, boom, done. Now we're moving on. We're moving on to the next phases of the fight now. And uh, it's glorious. It's freaking glorious. Seriously. My Hero Academia, man. The chapter is like... Th this action. This action is, is is cool. And it just makes me hope. It makes me hope beyond hope. That the uh, anime will do such a good job with this. Because seriously, like... Uh, I think I feel like after Season 3, it's just sort of like... Joined a little bit, and I enjoyed season four to be honest. I thought season four was good, but season five, man, like the, the first half of season five, I thought was very good, like with the with the class A and class B. But like the second half, man, they really dropped the ball on that. They really, really dropped the ball on that. Like the way they cut scenes and did it. Like I'm hoping that's not the case with this. I'm hoping that season six, when we get it, they do a good job with the war arc, and then whatever we get with next, with I don't know, with a uh, Deku's vigilante crap and and and, and the stars and stripes arc. And then, like, because very likely, very likely season 7 will be the last season, but I'm, I'm hoping we'll be get season 8, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how it goes and how they want to split up uh, certain arcs and that into, into how many episodes. But, uh, 
But yeah, man, this 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 action that we're getting right now so far has been splendid. Like, like uh, the show that was a Dobby fight was cool, and now we're getting it. Uh, and and so far, at least so far, with what we got in with the uh, all for one fight with Endovar has been cool. And that's not even over yet. Like that feels like it's just getting started now. So it's like, God, where's that gonna go? And then we're getting this uh, fight with uh, Bakugo and Shigarakin and Blue Genius, Merko, Sun, and all them lot. And Deku, Deku's about to face some people. We don't know, and we don't know what's going on with Tog with, to with Toga and uh, Yuvity and and uh, Froppy and that so and then the spinner trying to get uh, Kuragiri out of, out of the prison and uh, so many different fights going on at this point and like there's so there's so many ways so many different directions the, the, the next chapter can go into but I feel like we're still going to be on this fight I feel like we're going to I feel like the next chapter is going to be another phase of this fight and then the next chapter after that maybe we're going to go to a different fight but yeah like uh it's very hectic, like, it's very hectic. You could feel the scale of everything, if that makes sense. You could feel the scale, like, this is this is a war. This is, like, truly, truly a war. Compared to, like, compared to the first war where we had, when Shigaraki got powered up and he, and he escaped from his little, uh, uh, what is it, uh, a tank or whatever, like, uh, if you will, like, that was mostly, like, a freaking chase sequence, if you will, like, with Shigaraki just trying to go off the Deku. But here, like, everyone is fighting someone. It's, like, it's hectic. It's, like, getting very, very hectic now at this point. It's like, oh, how is this going to end? But so far, so good, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot, and, yeah, hopefully it just gets better. Hopefully it gets better, and hopefully it keeps this... It keeps this skill and, and tone going. Like, fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. But, yeah, very good chapter. Uh, can't wait for next week. And, yeah, guys, as always, remember to like... And subscribe, please. Uh, apologize for the lateness again. When I'm sick, I can't really do anything about it. Do you know I mean not my fault? Um, and I'm still not better, by the way. Like I've gotten better, but I'm still not like there yet. <laughs> like I'm like 50 percent. Okay, I'd say I'd say I'm I'm 70 percent better. Okay, <laughs> except for all the freaking mucus coming out, like uh, which is which is just annoying. Like like how how much is is in there? Like like. How can there be so much in there? I don't get it. Like, to Jesus. Uh, a human body, man. It's a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And, yeah, I shall see you. And I shall see you. Take care.